Oxygen is actually the third most common element in the universe, and it's important for astronomers to know in what form in space is oxygen. Of course, for humans, oxygen is critical for life, so it's naturally interesting to know, are there oxygen molecules, the kind of molecules that we breathe on Earth in interstellar regions? This is so important that uh, several space missions were developed in the previous decade in Europe and in the United States with an important goal to look for oxygen molecules in clouds of gas out of which new stars were forming. And the prediction had been that oxygen molecules would be very abundant, perhaps the third most abundant molecule in space. And even though astronomers were uncertain at some level, they were mostly very surprised when we found that there was not even one hundredth as much oxygen as had been predicted, and in some cases perhaps only upper limits as low as one part in a thousand. So for astronomers, that's a big difference between theory and experiments. And so when the possibility of using Herschel uh, came along, a group of astronomers from the US and Europe said, we have to take advantage of this new facility to look again for more, with more sensitivity for molecular oxygen. Our conclusions are still in the process of being worked out, but basically, indeed, in most places, oxygen molecules are more than a thousand times less abundant than predicted by the simple theories. But in a couple of spots, we now have made clear detection. So we can say, yes, we have found oxygen molecules in space, and now our job is to understand better why in some places there's really almost no detect no oxygen and then in some places there begins to be just a little bit so that may take uh, another year or more to fully understand our data but we're happy with the progress and that now we can at least say yes there are oxygen molecules in space that uh, uh, have been detected with Herschel.